G'day Shedders, and welcome to Shed TV for October. Well, I've just been poking around in the garden to see if I can find any Halloween pumpkins for later on in the month. Since Halloween's coming up, we've got a bit of relevant news sent in from one of our Shedders, Lachlan. Apparently a man was arrested for shoplifting yesterday while balancing on the shoulders of two vampires. He was later charged with theft on two counts. Anyway, enough with the ghoulish jokes. Let's take a look at what's happening on the Shed Online this month. This October, we're taking a look at the mining process fracking to explain a bit about it and to look at some of the concerns people might have about it. Fracking has revolutionised gas collection where it otherwise mightn't be economically viable, but it does have some people worried. In this activity, we'll look at some information sources to get a better idea of just what's involved. If you have an opinion about fracking, make sure to let us know by commenting underneath the article or jumping into the discussion forums. We've also got Mental Health Week coming up, starting on the 5th of October. Events will be held around Australia, working towards the goal of creating understanding and respect for those living with mental health issues. To coincide with the event, this month our health focuses on the topics of depression and anxiety. So take a good look at our health articles on those topics for more information. As part of this health focus, we're running a Q&A with Beyond Blue about how to start a conversation with a friend or loved one who you think might be experiencing anxiety or depression. Send in your questions and we'll post the answers on the site in November. I don't know about you, but I suffer from hay fever at this time of year, so our new hay fever article here on The Shed Online couldn't have come at a better time. If you put up with a runny nose and teary eyes during spring and summer, you might like to take a look at this for some hints and tips on how to cope with these kinds of allergies. Do you have any suggestions for dealing with hay fever? What remedies have you tried? Please let us know by commenting under the article. We've also got quite a few new member articles this month, including a helpful guide by Shedder Art Wombat on what to do with extremely noisy neighbours and how to deal with your local council regarding noise complaints. Also, take a look at two pieces by Jared Usterman. The first is about holidays and travelling in Venice. The second is on the subject of the signs of ageing. And make sure you read this new poem, Fearless Jack's Gamble, by Shedder D.L., about a local legend and his pub. Carers Week 2014 runs from October 12th to the 18th. Many of our members might find themselves in the position of caring for someone with a chronic disease or someone who just can't cope on their own. Take a look at our carers article, which gives advice and support for those who act in the role of carers. As usual, check out our discussion section to have a chat about something or start up a debate. Members are talking about all sorts of topics from when to retire to all-in-one computers and more. Having a conversation with other members of The Shed Online can be a great way to spend a morning. Well, I'd better get back to searching for a nice big pumpkin. Speaking of pumpkins, a little bit later on I'll be in the kitchen making one of my favourite dishes, pumpkin mixed with potato. Ah, a mash made in heaven. I'll catch you next month, here on Shed TV. Till next time, Shedders. Shed.